Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and this is Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Last time we defeated Yugo, Yuga, and now we're going to be heading through this crack, and we are on the outside of the palace. These nice little purple ones give me energy potions that refill my energy gauge, which is good whenever I'm going to be doing a lot of merging back and forth. Um, so I think I need to go to the other side, which means I have to go back through the wall, around to the other side, and back out. And this, of course, gets me a ruby and an energy. Then I'm on a whole new level. So this is the mechanic that kind of defines this whole game. The ability to go into and out of walls. As you can see, you can collect rubies that way. The paintings become real for you. You can find yourself ways around things. Excellent, 100 rubies. I needed that. You can find yourself around with things that could have normally been unpassable, like all those bars and those pits that I saw earlier. This was the ability that I need to actually start really exploring the world. And as you can see, I'm making my way along the outside of the Eastern Palace. Luckily, my reaction time is fast enough that I didn't get sucked up there. And there's little bump outs on the wall that kind of keep you from abusing it whenever you're not supposed to be. Yeah, that just happened. And once again, ways that they can use this. They're showing you basically all the ways that this can be used to your advantage. And I'm totally going to get all these treasure chests because it is worth my time because you need that money. Work hard for the money. Yes, I work hard for it, honey. And now we see we're back inside the palace. And I'm going to go back outside because this thing I was unable to access before. There's another 100 rubies. And before I really leave the palace, there's just one more thing I needed to do because there is one more unexplored area on my map. I'm not sure why I missed it my first time through here. Probably because I was too distracted by these bowling balls. But you know what I can do with these bowling balls this time? Is walk completely past them. How did I open that door? Probably through some complicated series of events, like going over here and pressing a button. Yep, it was going over there and pressing a button. So yeah, the ability to hide in walls not only opens up new areas, but also lets you avoid strikes from enemies. Okay, I'm going to need to actually get my aim on. Oh, and these, these walls here are clearly made that you can't do anything with them. But I can see that there's a path down there, and I kind of want to get to it because I'm pretty sure that there's going to be something good. I should have planned that better, and I'm going to die. Yeah. Um... I'm not entirely sure how it expects you to get down there. Maybe I should... There we go. And it's rubies and fairies. Excellent. So yeah. That three-dimensional element that I was talking about. The only reason you knew that was there was because the map kind of told me so. Alright, at any rate, we're done here. We have to go back to Sar... 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 Sar the S guy, and report what's happened. Oh, he came to us. Ah, my lad, you finally found your way back out of the Eastern Palace, but what of Osfala? Yeah, he's dead. No, you guys taken Osfala too? We're still, he now has two of our sages. And that fiend said he was going after Princess Zelda next? We mustn't let that happen. My word, what was that? Are we too late? Something dire is happening in Hyrule Castle. There's no time to waste. So just like in the original one, we're going to find our way back here. And we can't do anything. What is going on here? That barrier. I've never seen such magic. I daren't approach it. I don't think that's a word. But we must break through. Zelda and Lady Impa are trapped inside the castle. 
Listen well, Musikev. We must turn again to the legend of old for a solution. These abominable events are an echo of what happened all those years ago. Well then, when the castle was in the grip of evil, the hero of that day found the Master Sword. The hero first had to claim the three pendants of virtue to prove himself worthy of the blade. But we are already thwarted, for one of those pendants is inside the castle with Princess Zelda. Nope. Oh, what a quandary. We need her pendant, but there's no way to get it. I kind of have it. What's that? It can't be. You're wearing it. That's the pendant of courage. What in high rule are you doing with it, Music Kev? Yeah, Princess Zelda gave it to me. She gave it to you? A special charm? How right she was. She must have sensed evil in high rule and the rise of a new hero to meet it. So it is you. It must be. Why else would the princess have given you the pendant of courage? She knew you would need it to get the master sword. Well then, my young hero, you've got quite a quest ahead of you. You have to find the other two pendants. One pendant has been enshrined in the House of Gales, and the other pendant in the Tower of Hera. I will mark those spots on your map, Music Kev. What? You got the pendant of courage? Good thing the princess thought ahead. But first, it seems prudent to save before taking up such a quest. Care to do that, young hero? No. Well, it was just a thought. It's the wisdom of the ages to save every now and then. I shall head home to search my library for clues about who the other seven sages of our day might be. So for now, it's all up to you, Music Kev. Oh, look. A friend. If you remember those paintings from before, I think there was an arrow guy over here. Yeah, now they're coming to life. It's a little bit better than the brainwashed soldier, shul, soldiers that were talked about before. Um, in the Link's Awakening, feel less bad about killing paintings than brainwashed soldiers. But my friend here, Ravio, probably has something for me. Hey, welcome back, little hero. What happened, buddy? My bracelet did what now? Huh, who knew? Pretty neat that I can turn you into painting. Wowie wow, I wish it was you. I wonder if I could use, steal that power from this y weird Yuga guy, too. No, what am I thinking? I'm not cut out for that sort of stuff. I'd probably screw it all up somehow and get stuck on some dungeon wall. Yeah, probably. I couldn't bear it stuck there forever and ever. Oh yeah, I should leave that kind of work for heroes, for sure. And I'm gonna go over here and wear Majora's Mask. And that's the fun. Um, so Ravio still doesn't have anything for me. I think... Gully, time to come home! Oh yeah, he's... He's definitely... He's definitely gone. He must not be able to hear me. I hope he hasn't got himself lost in those woods down south. Well, I'm gonna find myself in those woods down south eventually, I'm sure. And let's head to the first X here. Which is in the bottom right corner of my screen, which is why I'm heading this way. But yeah, so now that I have the ability to merge, I, a lot more paths have been opened up to me. Though, honestly speaking, I should probably do more exploring and less... And less, um, actually directly to side quest. Or to the main quest. Alright, so I want to find cool little secrets like this. And is that... Yep, those are ropes. I'm going to go ahead and walk away from that. But what I really want to do here is... Queue up the next event with Ravio. I swear that one of these is going to be like, like... Yep, there it is. Never trust rubies. Right. The flippers are a thing in this game, too. So how am I supposed to get over there? Hmm. Maybe I am supposed to go to those woods to the south to find Gully. I actually forget what to do. I mean, I've played this game before, but been a while since I played the beginning of it. In my other game, I'm just kind of side-questing and, you know, whatever. 
I have ne oh, that's a message in the bottle, but I can't get to it because it's too far away. Yeah, I'm still, once again, one hit away from death. It's fantastic. Love it. Great stuff right there, buddy. Let's see if I can get on the wall all the way across. Probably not. Huh. Well, I can't put out those flames either. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call this for a recording. And whenever I come back, I'll have a better idea of what to do, hopefully. And won't be wandering around like a fool. In fact, whenever I come back, I will be standing in front of the next thing that I'm supposed to be standing in front of. And hopefully you don't miss me dying. If I die, I'll put on put it on the death counter. Anyway, this has been Legend of Zelda. Link Between Worlds. That was a mistake. Did that kill me instantly? <sighs> Add it to the death counter. Sorry, buddy. I'll be taking back what's mine now. So with that lovely scene, I suppose that ends it for me today. At least it's only another 10 rubies. Yeah. I'll see you next time.